Oh yeah, Panzer III on Siegfried Line. I used to hate this map. I used to think it sucked, I used to think there was really no good way to play it, and blah 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 blah. But, I've actually done a full 180. Now I, I love playing this map. Even if I'm a lower tier tank, even if I have a lot of disadvantages, it's still a lot of fun because the terrain, it's really, really, really well designed. I mean, there are a lot of hills you can lose enemies in if you're starting to get gunned down. And also, the city itself, there's so many little flanks you can use. If you're taking like the Panzer III that thrives on speed, and I dare say depends on speed for survival, this can only help you. I think I'm just coordinating for my team there. Either that or I'm trash talking. <laughs> One of the two. What do we got here? Ah. That was a Stug. You know, there, there are very few tank destroyers that I fear in this game. One of them is the Stug 3. Because with the Askeden, they can turn at a degrees per second rate of, I believe, 40. Which is almost as fast as my Panzer 3. Ah, here we go. Here's a Panzer 3 4. I call that the big brother to the Panzer 3. Because it's better than the Panzer 3 in almost every way. Wait, that's not a Panzer 3 4. What the frick am I talking about? It's like a Panzer 38T or something. Something really crappy. Something that I, I don't have any trouble with. It's weird how people give the Panzer 38 and the 35 this reputation of invincibility. They're not that strong. You shoot them in the lower hull. Especially the, the, the side, like where I shot that guy, and also the rear. And I think something's shooting at me. Yeah, I think there's a T-34 or something. Oh well. See, the Panzer 3, it's a bit of a counterintuitive tank, because most tanks in the game have thick front armor, a little bit less thick side armor, and then very thin rear armor. Panzer 3 follows this formula a little bit. It's got really nice frontal armor, 70 millimeters of protection, and it also only has 30 millimeters of side plating. So, you wonder why I'm so diligent about keeping my front facing the enemy, that's why. Ooh, look at that. I'm 10 Wolverine. Oh, it died. <laughs> so, with the Panzer 3, when you want to retreat from something, you might as well just show your butt to them, because you, have, you do have 50 millimeters of plating, which isn't bad. It's. it's it gets by. I mean, it's not enough to take a lot of hits there. I mean, it certainly won't take a Churchill shot there. And you, you have to be careful not to expose your rear end to prolonged enemy fire, because you will either have your gas tanks go kaboom, or you'll have your engine damaged, both of which suck. But I'd, certainly, I'd rather just have my, my tank explode, because having a damaged engine on this tank is, makes it very useless. Because the Panzer III, as I said before, thrives and relies on speed. Take speed out of the equation, and what you have is a, is a medium tank festooned with armor, but lacking in firepower, and lacking in maneuverability. So, you know, now here I'm, I'm just harassing these guys, I'm not really trying to get many kills. Here we go. Aha! Crippled him. Ooh, wow, that was pretty close. Artillery almost got me. I don't usually stop and shoot, but it'd be a bit risky for me to go after them, because if they saw me charging at them, they'd probably fire. Ah, Panzer 38 NA. Boom! That's a solid kill. I may be thinking, wow, you got three kills. You're destroying these guys. You're right, I am. But eventually, this nice killing spree comes to an end. I mean, if you see how hard we're destroying the enemies here, you would understand why I'm confident here. I, I didn't think anything could go wrong. And then I see it. It's a Panzer IV. I didn't know what he had. I couldn't really tell. Most Panzer IVs that I see have the small term, which makes them a real piece of crap in close quarters, so I was going to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, at, at this time, I did not have off-road driving. I, I know my crew is all 100%, but I'm just beginning the secondary skill researches. And also, it doesn't help that this bastard shot my driver. And he, you know, he just, he's just going to camp there. He's going to camp here for quite a while. Watch this. I'm doing a decent amount of damage to him, but... Because my driver's killed, I don't really get very far. So, I cuss out the Panzer IV for being a camping bastard and it's calling him a waste of semen and whatnot. We end up winning the round just the same. I mean, there's hardly any enemy, enemy left here. We've destroyed them badly. So, I'll just fast forward. So, I cut ahead about 30 seconds because nothing happened. So, final score, let's go to the personal achievements you'll see. Three kills, two damages, and four discoveries. Not bad, Panzer III, not bad at all. If one that Panzer IV wasn't camping like a twat, this would have been an even better round.